Hello, Calgary Catholic. My name is Carrie Lodemeyer. I am the Area Director for Northeast Schools. And we've put together a short video for you today to showcase three schools that are preparing for the resumption of school in September. And each school will be different in their own way. Calgary Catholic is already so well planned. The key messages that we hope you come away with today is that the schools are samples of what schools might look like and each building will look a little different. We're putting together a set of guiding principles for all schools and staffs to follow. You know your building best. We ask that you work within the parameters and make it work for your students, staff and families. As Dr. Zumlis and all of Calgary Catholic acknowledge, things are changing minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. Before the making of this video, for example, we were talking about the new requirement for daily screening. The implementation of this and other details will be forthcoming as you learn new information. For now, we hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, please do get in touch with your area director. Take care. Hi, Daniel Vinny, area director for South Schools. I'd like to share a little bit about the kits that you're gonna receive in August. And these are the resumption plan kits, starting with uh, face shields, some rubber gloves, uh, some face masks, spray bottles for disinfecting the class, uh, some hand sanitizer, as well as a number of floor decals and some posters and uh, some tape, as well as some bleach tablets for the disinfection. Um, these will be delivered uh, for the elementary, junior high schools. They'll be delivered August 17th, the week of August 17th. And for high schools, will be delivered the week of August 10th. If you need anything uh, above and beyond uh, what's in, this, in, the, in the kit, or if you run out, please don't hesitate to use your scale of issue and uh, order through supply management. Hello everyone and welcome to Bishop O'Byrne High School. We're here today just to give you guys a couple examples of what it would be, what it would look like to set up your schools and welcoming our students in September. First example for you here today is our stairwell where you, we, the teachers would be welcoming their students at the doors. One group would be exiting upstairs or entering upstairs. Next group would be going downstairs and we have marked all of the stairs here with some um, arrows to remind the students going up, going down with a pillar in the middle to remind them of staying on the right or left hand side of the stairs. So coming in, the students would see a sign that says maximum three. We have two please wait here where they would be asked to wait. Once the students make their way in, they will also notice that there are two sinks that are X'd off with painter's tape so students would not have accessibility to those sinks. We'll ensure that they do not have access to the hand dryers, um, so it would be paper towels only and we've ensured that the hand washing um, steps are there for the students to peruse as they're washing their hands. And here's an example of what you could do in the hallways where our lockers will be bolted. We've put a couple um, arrows to mark to ensure that the students stay on the right hand side of the hallway and the left hand side. Uh, so we've also put the pylons in the middle of the hallways just to add a visual for our students to remind them to stay to the right or to the left of the hallway. So what could it look like in a typical high school uh, classroom? So we have marked all of our desks. At this time, we have red post-it notes for uh, one group of students, and then we'll be putting a yellow post-it note for the second group of students. We've ensured that the hand sanitizer is at the front along with the sign. We also have a couple posters that are displayed in the classroom. Please stay two meters apart, the physical distancing, as well as some of the um, things that students could do to stop the spread of germs in the classroom. We've also marked where the student would stand um, in the event that they want to have a conversation with their teacher. So the chapel is a very important area in our high schools. So what are the things we can consider to ensure that we are adhering to social distancing? So as the students would enter the chapel, they will notice the two posters on social distancing, just as a friendly reminder. And as soon as they, en they enter the, ch uh, the chapel, they will see a hand sanitizing station with a sign to please ensure 
that they sanitize their hands prior to entering. So what we have done is we have separated the chairs to ensure we're adhering to the two meter separation. We also made sure that um, we taped up the second row and also lined up the chairs in the third row. The thing that we did do to ensure that students aren't breathing on each other is we alternated the chairs of the different rows. Okay. That wraps this school's tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your area director for further information.